Vai. Sixteen. Twenty three. Twenty four. Thirty one. Thirty two. Forty. Forty seven. Forty eight. Fifty one. Fifty eight. Fifty nine.
66. 67. One hundred and eight. Well, that's absolutely perfect. If he wants to go into the bunch, he really couldn't have put the ball better with his hand. If he hits the pink full on here, the red should go everywhere. Well, they have gone everywhere, but none Six. are particularly easy to pop. Seven. <laughs> it's one of those shots where even someone as good as O'Sullivan could have no idea where the balls would finish. And this next shot, if he plays a bold colour, it's tough. He might be able to lay it behind the blue, but I don't think he's thinking along those lines. If this goes in, he's back in amongst them. Oh, what a great shot. Made to look simple. Yeah, and he's made his mind to attack. If he is Ten. feeling tired, which he seems to be, then he doesn't want to get dragged into scrappy frames and long exchanges. He wants to keep the game moving. That is going to mean taking some on. They're going to be tough, but as you say, he's making those sort of shots look easy. So it could be in this sort of situation with the balls open, he'll feel fine. It's just when frames get a bit fragmented that you might see the tiredness set in. Yeah, I mean, it can only be tiredness because like we're seeing, even... In amongst, you know, one or two signs that he's weary, his game, as we know, is fully there. And the interesting point I thought he made about that was he spoke about laying the foundations 70. to all of this, which started way before his good run in winning in Barnsley when it all started. 18. Playing during the summer, building a, a game that was going to take him right through until Christmas by practising all the shots he needed to practise, all the hours. And since then, it's all been all about matches. And he
And sometimes when you play match after match, it's a little difficult 24. to to work on your game. But I suppose if you've done the work in the first place, that helps. Yeah, and I think also he mentally committed himself. He said, right, I'm going to play this block of snooker, these three months solid. And he prepared himself for that, as you say, not just his game, but also in his mind. And we've seen the 25. two in concert to great effect. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. I think some players are a little more ad hoc. They'll I think I'll play this tournament. I won't play that tournament. But O'Sullivan, as I say, just committed himself. These three months, it's going to be snooker, snooker, snooker. And so far, it's been title, title, title. Three of them. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Uh, still, the colours are not easy to get on. Obviously, the pink on the blue spot is all he's got right now. And, of course, the bulk colours. And he's still needing to do a little bit more work. I guess 44. Lee Hang has got to worry about the black being safe and the blue being safe more than Ronnie because he's a few behind. 47 48 54 oh, 75 on but depending on when Ronnie misses so whether that will be possible for Lee. That's a good shot. Uh, he's potted it 55. and finished just top side. And again, pink will go back on the blue spot. The red's still occupying the spot. Not really plain sailing this break, but very well constructed, given that 61. his cube has never really been in uh, supreme control. I have to say, Lee Hang was very 52. unlucky to stick the opening red. Play that shot 50 times. You wouldn't stick it very many. 58. It's pretty devastating in amongst the balls right now. 68. So we've seen a, a decent level of form from both players, actually, in the three frames. We must never take Ronnie O'Sullivan for granted, though, as a player, because what we watch 75. day in, day out is quite breathtaking snooker. He won't be playing this game forever, but you do well to see anyone 76. who plays... Oh. Better snooker and more of a delight to watch. He's the kind of guy that will have people in the, the practice room watching the screen, other players, watching how he does it. 82. Trying to bring this red out, which he's done. He said on commentary 82. last night, he was in the box, that the thousand centuries does motivate him. He's on 919 for his career at the moment. Haven't finished well. He was going to make 920. 89. 89. Didn't matter. 
Yes, and the key to this is that he won't actually require the blue for the century. Even that shot, look how well he's played that. 94. I have to say, as centuries go, this is as good as any. We've not taken the black once in this break. For many periods of it, long periods, the pink on the blue spot was the only big scoring colour. And it seems not very long ago we celebrated his 900th, and as you say, this is 9.20. It's all come very quickly, hasn't it? Well, he looks half asleep <laughs> between frames, but he's joined the wide awake club to make a dashing century.
And in the end, he found the gap One. there. Five. Six. Well, the blue may go up into the corner. That would be a bonus, but maybe it doesn't. He's awkward on the brown. He's having to bridge over the red. The blue obviously doesn't pot. A little bit awkward, this. Not really had the cue ball Ten. in any part of this break yet. She's been slightly off. Got to use the rest. This wasn't in the plan. This red. Still at 16 seconds 18. with his average shot time, but funnily enough, with the balls all over the table, you'd think he'd play a lot quicker. But sometimes you have to think more than when you're around the black spot area. 19. Yeah, yeah, you're so used to the natural positions, aren't you? You're practicing all the hours you play that you know what's happening up the top end of the table between pink and black. And when they're spread around like this, it just needs a little bit more concentration. 26. And talking about records, John, I can, can't remember a player playing four frames and not potting a ball in the Masters. That's a possibility at the moment. Thirty two. May have landed on the other red. Yeah, he's got this one instead. He can play on that one, but came on it so 33. well that he decided to take it. Three points 38. so far. Mark has got five. Of 39. Which he didn't score himself. Tough school, to say the least. If there was any consolation for Mark Ofu, it would be he's going to the mid session interval and it's the best of 11. So he'll have a chat with his coach. Uh, Terry Griffith's son Wayne, who's over from Hong Kong with Marco. He probably head to the 45. practice table because he hasn't had any chance whatsoever. Fifty-two. Fifty-three. Fifty nine. Sixty. He's just in, he's in the zone, totally focused. Sixty five. Sixty six. 
2,000 people in the auditorium on here. And it's just at one on the snooker table. And it was a big red for Marco to take on in the middle pocket. He knew it was fraught with danger. 71. And this is a massive shot to take on from that minute. He's missed it. He's just had to sit and watch this. Seventy-seven. Seventy-eight. Just the tricky red left side of the table 85. that might prevent him from making his third century in four frames. But he can bring 86. it into play here, looking at that angle on the pink. He can develop that red. Ninety-two. Honestly, he's just absolutely 93. in the zone completely. Ninety-eight. It's not possible to find that in this. It really isn't. There's another century. What a treat you are getting this afternoon from the genius. 103. Well, he's up to 99% pot success rate. Incredible. 107. And that also might be a record to make three centuries and four frames in your opening match in the Masters. Tried to use the, the jaw of the pocket to get up onto the pink there. Doesn't really matter if he doesn't knock this in, but the mood he's in. And then well, we've watched a genius at work here this afternoon.